welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Rachel Alma, and for this week's video, I really wanted to share some vegan meals that are naturally rich in iron. Now, I get this question all the time, so I really wanted to share these recipes for you guys, but what I really want to say and what I really want to stress, I am not a doctor, I am not a medical professional, so if you feel like you might be low in iron, anemic or, or struggling, please go and consult with a doctor or a medical professional. Iron is so incredibly important for your body to function, so it's not something to play around with, vegan or not. Um, but anyway, a lot of people are fine. Nonetheless, these recipes, really simple, really delicious, and are naturally high in iron. And if you didn't know, iron and vitamin C, they go hand in hand. The most effective way for your body to absorb iron is with vitamin C. So each of these recipes has a nice good source of iron and a good source of vitamin C and just come together to make some very delicious vegan meals. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the vegan meals, the simple vegan meals and don't forget to subscribe because I am here every Sunday with new videos and recipes to share with you guys. So oh and don't forget I've got a vegan cookbook that's available to pre-order. I'm going to link all the information in the description bar below. Let's get into these recipes. So the first recipe that I'm going to share with you guys is very simple. We're going to be using black beans and we're going to be using sweet potatoes. And sweet potatoes are really delicious and are very good sources of vitamin C. So we're going to put that together in one pot and make a delicious, easy, simple vegan meal. So let's get into it. The best way to get the most iron out of your black beans is to use dried ones, organic ones, soak them overnight and then cook them lightly the next day to prepare them for the meal that you're going to make. And that's kind of the best way to get as much iron as you can out of black beans. And black beans are just a nice, normal, natural source of iron. Nothing crazy, but just a good source. Then I'm going to finally slice up some red onions and I've also got some red peppers. And red peppers are great because they are a good source of vitamin C as well, so that will also work with the iron. I'm just going to saute the onions first. I just want to kind of brown them, slightly caramelize them and really loosen them up. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna get some garlic. Y'all know how I feel about garlic. I'm gonna use about four good cloves of garlic for this recipe. Then I'm just gonna add in my sweet peppers along with my garlic, and we're just gonna cook that and saute that and really, really try and soften that up. For seasoning, I've got ground cumin, coriander, paprika and also some raw cacao. Cacao is great, it's very nutritious, it's rich, it's chocolate and it just adds some more flavour and more dimension as well as its own nutrients. Then I'm going to season with a bit of salt and if things kind of start to stick just add a bit of water to help loosen it up until your onions and garlic and peppers have softened. Meanwhile, I'm going to prep my sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are so amazing, delicious. If you have organic sweet potatoes, keep the skins on them because they are nutritious as well. If they're not organic, I like to take them off personally. So I'm just going to cut the sweet potatoes into little cubes. Then we're just going to add those straight in with the onions and the peppers once they've softened up. And give that a really good mix to combine everything. And at this point is when the kitchen starts smelling amazing. Then I'm adding about 800 grams of chopped tomatoes. Mixing them all in and then I am adding in my prepared black beans. Followed by some vegetable stock. You can also add some chilli to this recipe if you like. Then I'm adding in some tomato paste. touch of maple syrup which is completely optional I just like it to counteract with the bitterness that you can get from the raw cacao and as well if you have some chili it works really well I'm just gonna cook that until the sweet potatoes have softened and then you get this really rich thick delicious black bean sweet potato what should we call it stew I'm not sure then to serve it I've added on some spring onions coriander some chili flakes and some avocado and it also squeezed some lemon on top. The lemon will help bring out the flavours, adds a bit of its own nutrients and vitamin C as well. Quick and easy, one pot, dinner's ready. Now this recipe is a subtle way to get in some nice iron and the next recipe is how you get in tons and tons and tons of iron. Taste test. Yes, so simple, so standard. So delicious, so hearty. You can add loads of chilies to this as well if you want it hot, completely up to your taste preference. If you're looking for a new vegan meal, plant-based meal to introduce to your weeks, 
that is definitely one of them because it's rich in iron, vitamin C, fibers, protein, delicious, comforting, hearty, highly recommend. So the second recipe that I'm gonna share with you guys is using seaweed. Now, seaweed is incredibly high in iron. The amount of iron you get in about 100 grams of seaweed compared to 100 grams of something like steak is just ridiculous because the seaweed is just way, way, way above. Similar to sea moss and all the different sea plants. However, what I will say is seaweed is a particular taste and texture. Not everyone's gonna love it. Some people love it, some people not so much. If you are new to eating seaweed, start off with a little bit, bit by bit, and then you can build up your, I don't know, taste buds to it. It's an adjustment, but it's so nutritious that if you can stand it, eat it. And if you love it, well, you're great anyway because you're just getting loads of nutrients eating seaweed. If you're not concerned about iron and you don't like seaweed, for the next recipe, just skip it out, it's fine. But if you want some more iron or you love seaweed, include it in the next recipe. Let's get into it. So I got some fresh, edible seaweed. I actually had to go to the fishmongers to get it, which was a bit of a weird experience because I haven't been in one of those places in years. Nonetheless, we've got some seaweed. Let me know if you guys want to see some recipes with things like spirulina, wheatgrass, kelp, because they are also really rich in iron. Anyway, let's continue with our edible seaweed. So I'm just gonna wash it and give it a really good rinse and just some cold water. And with it, I've got some brown rice. So I've got about a cup of brown rice. I'm just gonna rinse that and try and get rid of as much of the excess starch as possible. Then to a pot, I'm just gonna add the rice and double it with the amount of water. Season with a bit of salt, bring it to a boil. Once I've done that, I'm gonna pop the lid on and set it aside to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And just don't take the lid off, let it cook. Meanwhile, we're gonna start cooking all our vegetables for our rice. We've got aubergines, ginger, spring onions, garlic, coriander, orange, lemon, chilies. So first I'm gonna start by preparing my aubergines because we're gonna griddle those. So I'm just gonna slice those down into really nice circles. Then I'm gonna heat my griddle pan and add a bit of oil. Once it's nice and hot, I'm gonna throw on, well not throw on, I'm gonna add my aubergines one by one and get that cooking. Meanwhile, while that's cooking, I'm just gonna make a sauce. So I've got an orange here, and I'm just gonna get all the juice from the orange. With all these meals, you can just make some fresh orange juice to go alongside any iron-rich meals you make. So I'm just gonna add the orange juice to a bowl, then I'm gonna add in some soy sauce, a bit of white wine vinegar, a bit of maple syrup, not a bit, quite a bit of maple syrup, then I've got some fresh lemon and I'm gonna squeeze that in there too. The lemon's gonna help bring out some more flavor as well. Now that the aubergines have got the lines on them, they're not actually cooked yet. So they're still a little bit hard, which is what you want because you don't want them to be soggy at the end. So once they've got the lines on them, but they're not fully cooked, I'm gonna add on the seasoning, the sauce that we just made, and I'm gonna cook those until it comes out like this. And they're just so, so delicious. Now it's time to make the rest. I'm gonna cut up all of my seaweed and you really wanna try and get it as small as possible. This was about 130 grams of seaweed, which is tons of iron, tons of iron. And you really wanna cut it up nice and small. Then I'm gonna get some garlic as well as ginger, lots and lots of ginger. I love ginger, it's an amazing ingredient to use. So we're just gonna grate it down into fine little pieces. Then I've got some spring onions, some chilies, as well as some sweet red peppers, and I've just sliced those up into small pieces. Then we're gonna throw those into the pan and we're gonna saute them. And really quickly, we don't wanna give these a long cook because we still wanna have a bit of a crunch to them. Then it's time to add in our seaweed. I've added loads of seaweed here, but you don't have to add this much. I really recommend chopping it up really, 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 really small. And then finally, time to add in our cooked brown rice. And then you just wanna kind of season it with the sauce that we made earlier with the lemon, orange, soy, maple. And it just helps bring it all together and add some more flavor to the rice, which has already got the ginger and the garlic and the chili in there. I've added some fresh coriander and some chilies and some spring onions and put the aubergines on top. And I squeezed on some lemon as well. And you could also use lime. And this is your really, really iron rich vegan meal. So I've already been eating this and I'm pretty much down, but I, I forgot to film it. So I put loads of seaweed in this. You do not have to put this amount. Um, this is a lot of seaweed. 
So if you don't love seaweed, it's a lot. However, everything that's going on here is fantastic. You've got ginger, you've got garlic, you've got the hotness from the chilies, along with the kind of sweet and salty orangey rice and aubergines. It's really, really tasty. The vegetables are nice and crunchy, which is what you want when you're stir frying. Make sure you do not overcook the rice because then you've got like stodgy rice and it, it's not gonna pair with the seaweed. It will be too much stodginess. So make sure you cook the rice right. And you get this really nutritious, sea-flavored, iron-rich meal. So like I said before, if you're not worried about iron and you don't like seaweed, Enjoy this recipe without the seaweed. Still a delicious, simple recipe. I love, love, love grilled aubergines. They're just so juicy and delicious, especially with the orange. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the recipes and them being good sources of iron. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was requested a lot. As I said before, I'm not a doctor, not a medical professional. So if you feel like you are lacking in iron, please go and see one. It's very, very, very important. And that is if you're vegan or not. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the recipes. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you wanna see. Check me out on Instagram if you just wanna hang out with me more often, more daily. As I said before, I have a vegan cookbook that you can pre-order. I will leave the link down below so you can get your hands on a copy. It's gonna be out in June 2019. If you get the pre-order now, I'm gonna be sending you an ebook with seven recipes ahead of the book launch in June. So, have a vegan cookbook out. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting me so far. I love getting the messages from you guys about the recipes from the book and the excitement around the book. It's amazing, so thank you so, so, so much. I will see you all here next week. Bye.